good morning students in the last lecture we have discussed about the consolidation test on soil and today we are going to discuss about the compressibility parameters which are the result obtained by the that consolidation test so the most important soil properties determined by a consolidation test are first one compression index okay so for that we are plotting a graph between void ratio and effective stress that is this is the uh, graph obtained as a result of consolidation test from the consolidation test result data we are plotting a uh, void ratio on y axis in normal scale and effective stress on x axis in log scale that is this plot is known as e log sigma plot effective stress is noted by sigma and void ratio by e okay so this plot is known as e log sigma plot here effective stress is plotted in log scale okay so when consolidation takes place there will be decrease in void ratio that is when uh, external load is applied to the soil soil will get compressed or consolidated so that the void ratio will get reduced so the plot will be like this that is uh, when uh, effective stress increases void ratio decreases this is the plot and the slope of this plot is known as compression index okay or coefficient of uh, compressibility compression index it is noted by cc okay and this compression index is equal to the slope of linear portion of the void ratio versus log sigma plot so in this plot take a linear portion and take its uh, slope and it will uh, result the value of compression index cc okay so cc is equal to sigma e okay so for uh, you take two points and uh, the void ratio for first point is c1 second point e2 so e1 minus e2 is uh, delta e that is change in void ratio divided by log that uh, uh, effective stress corresponding to that two void ratio is sigma 2 and sigma 1 therefore difference between log sigma 2 minus log sigma 1 okay so cc is uh, delta e divided by log uh, sigma 2 minus log sigma 1 this is known as compression index and it is compression index is the slope of e log sigma plot okay so this compression index is very much useful for determination of settlement in the field okay in the field analysis we are using this compression index so it is very important parameter so remember compression index is the slope of void ratio versus log effective stress graph okay that is compression index then swelling index and recompression index that i will uh, explain later another parameter and uh, third parameter is compressibility coefficient or it is known as uh, coefficient of compressibility coefficient of compressibility and it is notated by the parameter a v a suffix v okay and this is the uh, actually this is the slope of void ratio versus effective stress e sigma plot that is uh, we can plot uh, we can draw a graph between void ratio in normal scale and effective stress also in normal scale which is the uh, test result of the consolidation test okay from the consolidation test result data you can plot a graph between void ratio and effective stress both in normal scale and this is the variation that is when stress increases void ratio decreases so uh, plot will be like this and take the linear portion and its plot, uh, and the calculate the slope and that slope is known as coefficient of compressibility that is the coefficient of compressibility av is defined as decrease in void ratio per unit increase in effective stress that is delta e divided by delta sigma decrease in void ratio per unit increase in effective stress that is when effective stress increases void ratio decreases so the sign negative comes here okay because when uh, effective stress increases void ratio decreases so the sign negative but its magnitude will be a numerical value Okay, sign indicates just the variation of uh, void ratio with the effective stress. Okay, so remember compressibility uh, coefficient or coefficient of compressibility is the slope of E sigma plot. Okay, E sigma plot. So based on this, we can classify so, uh, soil as low compressibility, uh, middle compressibility and high compressibility. If uh, for low compressibility, AB is less than 0 0.1 megapascal uh, inverse, that is meg uh, this will be uh, 1 by megapascal that is uh, delta e void ratio is not uh, unit then for 1 by sigma stress so reversal that is a unit then in the case of middle compressibility value between 0.1 and 0.5 high compressibility greater than 0.5 so 
So this is the third parameter, compressibility coefficient AV. Next one is coefficient of volume compressibility. Okay, coefficient of volume compressibility is denoted by the notation M suffix V, MV, coefficient of volume compressibility. And it is the volumetric strain in a clay element per unit increase in stress. That is, it is the ratio between volumetric strain per increase in stress. That is, uh, strain means change in, uh, volumetric strain means change in uh, volume divided by original volume. Okay. So, uh, change in volume by uh, original volume, that is delta V by V per unit increase in stress. In, uh, increase in stress is not even delta sigma. So, MV is equal to delta V by V divided by delta sigma. This is known as coefficient of volume compressibility. Okay. And this delta V by V, we can uh, equate as, that is delta V by V is equal to delta E by 1 plus E naught. Okay, that we have previously derived an expression that is delta H by H is equal to delta E by 1 plus E naught. So it can be approximated to volume also. So we can write delta V by V is equal to delta E by 1 plus E naught. Okay, so delta E by, uh, so here comes delta E. Delta E by delta sigma we can replace as AV, coefficient of compressibility. So there is another equation for MV that is MV is equal to AV by 1 plus E naught. Okay, so it is in the textbook, so I am not uh, uh, shown in this slide. So you just go through the text and read that portion. That is we are uh, replacing delta V by V by V by one uh, delta E by 1 plus E0. Then delta E by delta sigma will come as AV. Then another parameter 1 plus E0 is the, so MV is equal to AV by 1 plus E0. Okay. So it's known as coefficient of volume compressibility and is defined as change in volume per unit volume as the ratio with respect to change in stress. This is a plot which showing loading, unloading and reloading on soil. Okay. That is we have this, this is the plot between void ratio E which is on y axis and sigma in log scale. This is the first uh, graph I have explained that is in this graph is a variation between E log sigma plot and the slope is known as compression index. Okay, so in this figure it is that portion that I have explained earlier. Okay, so its slope is known as compression index. Okay, here we are applying load. This is the loading curve A B C. Take the curve A B C. It is similar to the curve I have explained firstly. And its slope is known as compression index CC. Okay, that I have explained that is compression index CC is equal to delta E by log sigma 2 minus log sigma 1. Okay, and this curve, this portion is loading curve that we are applying load. When, uh, when the soil is uh, applied by this external load, the void ratio will get reduced. So, curve is like this. Okay, then up to the point C, the uh, process is loading. Okay, after the point C, the curve is like this that is CD. CD is the variation of soil that is here that portion is known as unloading branch that is after C we are removing the load that is we are unloading. When we are removing the load what will happen? Soil will be expanding. There will be a small expansion for the soil when we are removing the removing the external load. So the curve will be like this CD. Okay. So it is known as unloading point or expansion curve because here soil will get expands, expand, expanded for a small amount. There is no not much amount, much expansion and the soil will never uh, attain its initial void ratio. But the void ratio will get increases for a slight value. Okay, And the slope of this curve is known as expansion index or swelling index which is noted by CS that I have uh, written in the slide that is swelling index CS. Okay. So, this swelling index is the slope of uh, sorry slope of this portion that is CD. Okay. Slope of this portion is swelling index. These, these all are same as uh, CC or compression index that is delta E by log uh, sigma 2 minus log sigma 1. But the curve varies. Here it is the loading curve and here it is unloading curve. So, the slope of this unloading curve is known as swelling index. Okay, swelling index or expansion index, CS or CE. Then after the point D, it will be again loaded. So, 
the term comes reloading again loaded okay uh, so uh, when uh, when the soil is again loaded uh, what will happen the void ratio get decreases okay so void ratio will decreases that is it is recompression this is known as recompression curve this curve that is d c this curve is known as recompression curve and its slope is known as recompression index which is noted by cr okay the slope of the recompression curve or reloading curve is known as recompression index and which is noted by cr okay so these all uh, points are in page number 266 in aurora textbook so, uh, that is this definition that is expansion index and recompression index okay so i will uh, explain one one more time that is the slope of this curve that is loading curve abc is known as compression index cc that i have explained in the first slide cc okay after that uh, the uh, uh, load is removed that is unloading takes place and the curve uh, and the uh, uh, slope of this unloading curve is known as swelling index or expansion index because in this portion soil will be expanded for a small amount so this uh, slope is known as uh, swelling in index or expansion index then again we are loading that is reloading okay so the uh, slope of this reloading curve is known as recompression index okay so there is compression index slope of this curve and there is uh, swelling index or expansion index the slope of this curve and there is recompression index which is the slope of this curve okay so these uh, three definitions are in page number 266 you just read that portions okay next is the uh, classification of soil based on the external load that is normally consolidated there are two types of soil normally consolidated soil and over consolidated soil first one is normally consolidated soil that is the soil which are loaded first time in the history to the present applied effective stress and this soil are more compressible representing high settlement of loading that is normally consolidated soil is one which had not been subjected to a pressure greater than the existing current existing pressure that is a soil is consolidated in present condition and that present uh, pressure is the maximum pressure exerted uh, for the soil in his history okay and uh, uh, that will be that type of soil will be more compressible in the case of normally consolidated soil it has not been exerted a pressure which is greater than present uh, pressure present pressure is the maximum pressure which is exerted by the soil in its lifetime or in its history okay that is normally consolidated soil and in over consolidated soil uh, in the case of over consolidated soil that soil will be subjected in the past to a pressure which is greater than the present pressure okay in the in the case of over consolidated soil that type of soil will be subjected to a pressure which is greater than existing pressure so in the past it has been consolidated to a maximum pressure so such type of soil will be less compressible and will be more stable because in the past it already been uh, consolidated uh, so uh, there is no more uh, consolidation so the, the there will be not uh, compress uh, not compressibility in the soil because it is already been compressed for a uh, long time in the past so it will be some more uh, it will be more stable this over consolidated soil okay so uh, i think uh, you got an idea about the normally consolidated soil and over consolidated soil in the case of normally consolidated soil the present pr pressure is the maximum pressure in its lifetime it has not been subjected to any pressure which is greater than the current existing pressure but in the case of over consolidated soil that type of soil will be subjected to a pressure which is greater than current pressure okay in the past it has been over consolidated or in the past it has been uh, applied by a pressure which is greater than uh, current pressure that is over consolidated soil so this over consolidated soil will be uh, more stable and less compressible okay so based on this there is a ratio that is over consolidation ratio is the ratio between maximum applied effective stress in the past divided by present applied effective stress okay so in the case of over consolidated soil this ratio will be greater than 1 because in the case of over consolidated soil the past pressure is very much greater than present pressure so this ratio will be greater than 1 that is uh, in the past the past effective stress in the past will be so much greater than present pressure that is known as over consolidated soil so in the case of over consolidated soil over consolidation ratio is greater than 1 for heavily over consolidated soil it will be uh, very much greater than 1 
But in the case of normally consolidated soil, this will be less than or equal to 1. Okay. Uh, the maximum value of over consolidated ratio for normally consolidated soil is 1. It will never exceed 1 in the case of normally consolidated soil because in the case of normally consolidated soil, the present applied pressure is the maximum one because it has not been subject to a pressure greater than the uh, existing pressure. So, sometimes it may be equal. That is, the past pressure will be equal to present applied pressure, but the past pressure will never uh, greater than present pressure in the case of normally consolidated soil. So, it will never exceed 1. Maximum value is 1. Okay. It is known as over consolidation ratio. Okay, next uh, is uh, pre consolidation pressure. I think today we have discussed the so many parameters, so I am not extending much because you will get confused. So up to this uh, this uh, session, you just uh, read the textbook and thorough about the terms compression index, recompression index, and coefficient of compressibility, etc. And also what is uh, normally consolidated soil, uh, over consolidated soil, and over consolidation ratio. Okay, so you just read these portions because it is uh, uh, somewhat confusing portion. So I am not extending much. I will discuss uh, other topics in the next lecture okay so thank you